Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is quite complex and maybe one of the most important videos I've ever made. And to start this lesson, we will start in just resting on the back. So please, if you will, come to rest on your back. So please come to rest on your back with your legs extended long and your hands, your tactile hands, place them somewhere on your lower belly, below your navel, so you can feel your abdomen, lower part of your abdomen, you can feel if it's soft or hard, so if your abs are working, if they are engaged or if they are relaxed. And then <laughs> take a moment to arrive at the floor, just let yourself fall to the floor. So a follow along video. Allow yourself to breathe and to relax. We have allocated the next half hour or so to this lesson and just fall deeper into this lesson and then bring your esteemed awareness to your legs as they are resting from your hands downwards to your feet and as a first movement, simple easy movement, move your legs towards each other, slowly, slowly, so no stress, just maybe wait for an out breath and then start to roll, oh is it, do your legs roll, how do you pull your legs toward each other, toward the midline until your legs touch Maybe your knees touch, your heels touch, the base joints of your toes touch, so the inside edges of your feet touch. Hold that and then slowly let go again. <laughs> let your legs fall apart, away from each other. Or move them back into your preferred resting position. And see <laughs> if that has changed your breathing. Hmm? If that has changed the tension in your neck, tension in your eyes, tension in your jaw. And, and then again, bring your legs toward each other and see if they roll. If you start this movement so slow, yes, very unusual to do it so slow. Just enjoy the being aware of starting to Bring more tension into your lower body, more tension into your legs. Before the legs even move, you can feel maybe the inside edge of your legs, the adductors starting to work, starting to rotate your legs inwards. So that's an action of your adductor muscles, but also of your glutes, medius and minimus. And then... <laughs> Bring the legs closer and closer and closer toward each other until they touch. And then keep them together, press them together just a little bit. Just press enough so they stay touched together and feel, is this so easy? You don't even know what's, what this is all about or can you feel, oh, this, that's something you could work on because maybe you can feel your abs are working considerably or do they not work at all? So your legs and your abs can work together when you hold your legs together. Your glutes 
can help, your hamstrings can help. But when you press your legs together, pay attention, look out, watch out, that your neck does not stiffen up. Your jaw does not stiffen up. Maybe roll your head a little bit to the left and right and see if you can still look around a little bit in the room. Roll your head, lift your head a little bit. See if you have a possibility for easy movement with your neck while you press your legs together. <laughs> How long can you do that before you feel any strain? And then, of course, let go again. So, what's the status quo of your adductors? Is that something fairly easy? <sighs> something you don't have to worry about? Or do you feel like, oh, that's something I could work on. <laughs> I could feel more easy about that movement of bringing the legs together. Now, next thing to do is hold your legs together. Let's see how strong we are. So that's a work to keep the legs together. Can you put your knees together as well? <laughs> maybe you have to bend your knees so they can touch, but maybe you can lower your legs again <laughs> and have your legs extended and touch your knees. So are you strong enough, flexible enough to allow for that while you have your legs extended, what do you have to do to make that happen? Or what do you have to do to go towards that goal without overly straining yourself? And of course, take rests in between. This is a follow along exercise. We take the time, the muse, we allow ourselves to enjoy movement, to enjoy experiencing ourselves. There's no knowledge we need to stuff into our brains. We just <laughs> feed ourselves spoon by spoon, bite by bite. And then again, that loose of your jaw and bring your legs together and bring your esteemed attention <laughs> to your right foot, namely to the heel of your right foot. And if you can't keep your legs together for a long time, you can let go, play with that movement of having your legs together or having them rest. But have your attention now at your right heel, the back of your right heel, where you touch the floor with your right heel. Imagine, maybe you touch, imagine you touch your heel with your finger. You massage your heel a little bit so you can feel the back of the heel or you rub the back of the heel against the floor so you can feel your right heel, the back of your right heel and then in your imagination with your esteemed attention <laughs> move to the outside of your right heel and along the outside edge of your foot and further up towards your small toe so in your imagination go up to your right small toe and the fourth toe maybe you can feel the berry of the small toe the berry of the the pad of the fourth toe and the middle toe the second toe and the big toe and then move in your imagination down on the inside edge of your right foot down 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 so there's the arc of the foot and then the out inside edge of your right heel and the back of the right heel. So we made a tour around the right foot. And then also, so we made an outline of your right foot in your kinesthetic imagination. And then also feel how wide your right foot is. The distance from your big toe to your small toe of your right foot. Or the base joint of your big toe to the base joint of your small toe. Start to feel the sole of your foot as if you would now paint the sole of the right foot. So you get a, a feeling, an imagination of the sole, of the shape of the foot. How wide is your foot at your toes? How wide is your foot at your right heel? 
yes so we bring our awareness to the foot and then to the left foot the left heel the back of the left heel and move up alongside the left foot to the outside edge of your left heel the whole outside edge of your left foot the left small toe the fourth toe of your left foot the third feel the pads the second toe the big toe the left big toe then in your imagination move down on the inside edge of your left foot the inside edge of your left heel an outline of your left foot and then feel how wide your left foot is from your left small toe to your left big toe start to paint the sole of your left foot yes <laughs> the flexible sole so we have a awareness for our feet now and let go again take a short rest on your back And then again, bring your legs together, hold your legs together and start to bend your feet towards the flexion. You bring your forefoot closer towards your nose, bend your feet and feel the soles of your feet, how they sh are shaped during this bending of your feet. Feel your heels that move downwards and feel your toes that move upwards and let go again and try that again keep your legs together bend your feet bend the toes and then extend your feet plantar flexion extend your feet your toes downwards yes we can look at them bend your feet extend your feet together with your toes and then without looking just feel have your hands again on your abdomen keep your legs pressed together isometric contraction bend and extend your feet together with your toes and see if this movement <laughs> affects how what what does this movement if you keep your legs pressed together, so your hamstrings, your buttocks, your abs, your core muscles, and still your feet can move, your feet can slightly rock your spine. Not by dragging your heels or pushing with your heels on the floor, but just by bending and extending your heels. and let go again so lots of ideas and concepts in this first part of the lesson from moving the legs together internal rotation and the moving of the feet the awareness of the feet How easy was it? How difficult was it? We need to remember that for later. And then roll onto your left side, please. We come to the second part of the lesson of this video. Roll onto your left side. If that's difficult for your left shoulder, you might prop something under your torso, if it's difficult for your head, use a pillow, just make yourself comfortable on the left side with your legs bent a little bit, and then extend your right leg, so lift your right leg and extend it, so your right leg is up in the air, extended downwards, flying, floating, <laughs> so your leg is up, and 
Try that a couple of times, rest your leg again and then lift it up, see, is that easy? Easier than pushing the legs together? Is lifting and extending the right leg easier? And then keep your right leg extended, bend your right ankle again and start to move your right leg or your right foot forwards and backwards like in a little swing forwards and backwards and notice of course how you do this what is your technique of moving your right leg forwards and backwards it's a movement in your hip joint what else does move what, what do you have to do to make this movement possible at all how big is the movement Does your leg turn when you move it forwards or backwards? Or do you keep your inside edge of your right foot parallel to the floor? Questions, questions, questions. How do you, what do you do when you do something? So observing, observing yourself, wildlife photography, <laughs> it's just as important as trying to produce the movement. And of course, in between, take rests what did work now <laughs> where's your strengths and and where's your weak points then again lift your right leg and move it a little bit forward so you can see or move your foot forward so you can see your right foot and bend your right foot and extend your right foot so that's a movement in your right ankle see if you can make that smoothly if you can move your right foot just as smoothly as you can move your right wrist your right hand so you extend your right foot and extend your toes and flex your right foot bend your right foot and Bend your toes. And of course, take a rest. In between, was this too late, the rest? <laughs> if you need a rest earlier, <laughs> take a rest and then pick it up again. How do you, how do you have to place your hip? How do you have to hold your leg to make this easier? Is it really strength that you're missing or is it just the way you hold your leg? Maybe you don't use the right muscles for the job. What does it make? Why is it heavy or is it not heavy? Is it easy for you to do? Okay, then we continue. So you're you have your right leg extended up in the air bend your foot but instead of also bending your toes upwards you curl your toes in downwards so when you flex dorsiflexion when you doors your when you flex your ankle when you bring your forefoot closer towards your knee you bend your toes downwards so they go into opposite directions and when you extend your ankle you Bend your toes upwards. Yes, so try to do this movement of the ankle and the toes go in opposite directions. So look at your foot. <laughs> is what you're doing, what you intend to do, is this the thing that is really happening? Mm? <laughs> and then rest your leg again. I think we will give the right leg a little bit of a longer rest now and turn over onto your right side
So maybe you just roll over. So now your left leg is on top. And then extend your left leg up in the air. Bend your left ankle and start to move your left leg or your left foot forwards and backwards like a swing of the leg. See how easy is this with your left leg? How far is the movement? How far can you go easily? How heavy is your left leg? Is your left leg stronger or better organized? in a better overall shape and condition than your right one? Or is it the other way around? Or are both easy to move and control and to feel? <laughs> See what that does with your breathing. If you just keep breathing, if it restricts your breathing, your jaw, your neck, Take rests in between. So what was the next movement? Lift your leg, your leg extended, bring it a bit forward so you can see your left foot and then bend your left ankle, extend your left ankle together with your toes. So when you bend your left ankle, the toes bend also upwards. And if you bend or extend your left ankle downwards, your toes start to point. So what's your magnesium levels? <laughs> Is your foot cramping or everything easy? And then also try the opposite ways when you bend your left foot upwards, then you curl your toes downwards. And when you flex, extend your foot downwards, then you curl your toes upwards. And you can have a look at your foot if what you intend to do is really happening. Yes, at which height do you have to hold your leg to have it easy? Do you have to have your leg turned outwards or inwards a little bit? <laughs> what makes it more difficult? What makes it more easy? Where do you have the feeling you have the straightest, the best alignment? What different feelings and sensations do you have? And again, this is not a top-down textbook video. It's for your own experience, to make your own judgments, have your own questions for your own research later when you look up other videos or when you go to the professional literature. What are the terms? What are the names of the muscles, the names of the movements, if you, if you want to know that. <laughs> or you just enjoy resting a little bit on your side. Now we continue, please come again onto your left side, roll over onto your left side. Have your legs a little bit bent and again extend your right leg 
into the air, straight downwards and start to move your right leg backwards and forwards. See, yes, how that has developed if that range of motion got better, if it has gotten easier already. Hmm. There's still miracles happening <laughs> on this planet. All right, short break. And for the next movement, the starting position, again, lift your right leg, but bend your right knee so that your right foot is in the air behind you. So you're holding up your right leg with your right leg bent and the right foot behind you. Okay, and then take a short rest again. Try to find, find a, a way to hold your to hold your right leg in that position. So you right, you can't, you cannot see your right foot if you rest because it's behind you. And there's a whole lot of muscles. Yes, a strong right leg. There's a whole lot of muscles and tendons in your right leg. And on the top of your buttocks, on the side, the upper part side of your buttocks, there's the gluteus medius and minimus somewhere. And you bend your knee. These are the muscles that should support this movement. So we shine a little bit of a light and a loving light on that area, a light of healing. Maybe you can feel that area where the doctor put the needle and we say, ah, it's, it's okay now. <laughs> yes, and maybe you have been a sensitive person or sensitive about it and it was not a pleasant experience where the injection was administered. This part became dark in your self-image and maybe these muscles <laughs> stopped working the way they should and over the years this could cause problems. So that's a story I, I made up but not too far-fetched from a trauma and somatic perspective. Okay, so our starting position, the leg like this and again bend your right foot and extend it and this means the right ankle, bend the right ankle and bend the toes in the other direction. So you curl the toes downwards while you bend the ankle. And when you extend the ankle, or plantar flexion, you curl the toes upwards, so opposite directions. <laughs> Does the foot still exist even though you don't see it? Does the foot do what you intend it to do? So we have the movements of the ankle and the movements of the toes and they can go, the toes can bend and extend and the ankle can bend and extend and there's so many movement combinations we can come up with. It's a kind of a nerve flossing. And to make it easy to hold the leg in this position, you have to use the right muscles here, the, the glutes on the side. And a rest, a little rest. <laughs> a time of healing, of introspection. Improving. Take a short rest on your side. Then extend your right leg downwards again, straight down. See how that feels now. Bend your right ankle and move your right leg <laughs> forwards and backwards and, and, and see <laughs> how that works now. See how do you turn your right leg when you do this movement? Is there a turning? Do you need a turning? Is it a small or a big turning of the leg, 
when you move it forwards or backwards everything is possible yes much bigger movement much easier brilliant combination of adductor and abductor muscles of the glutes the core how everything works together without thinking too deeply about it but instead just feel and enjoy the movements now still one side left to do so please turn around again onto your right side Mm -hmm. Rest on your right side with your legs bent a little bit. Yes. And then lift your left leg. We can try to extend the left leg, move it forwards and backwards. See, aha, okay, that's how it is right now. Short rest. And then bring your left leg into the starting position which is to bend your left knee and have your left foot behind you you cannot see your left foot it's behind you up in the air and again think of this area on your left side <laughs> from your childhood doctor visit where did the doctor put the injection so this area is holding your left leg up now so it's a little bit of a rotation inwards the left leg is a little bit up higher up than your left knee and you can feel that if your left knee is higher up than your foot it's uh, like in a clamshell exercise but that's not what we're going for always possible to take a break of course and to start fresh and if you haven't started yet with the exploration of your left foot behind you, start to bend and extend your left foot while you're in this position and curl your toes in either direction. And then there's so many combinations that we can do with the ankle bending and the toes curling. start to feel the details and your alignment where is it easy where do you feel well positioned where do you in which position do you make the most out of this exercise so this could be a repositioning of your side of your hips of your head of your arms so you are the expert here the expert mover you are the master and the observer of yourself. How can you inhabit this position? Master this position. <laughs> mess it up. The intricate details nobody will ever be able to teach you. This is something you have to find yourself and these lessons are designed to set up a situation of learning where you can find the best alignment, the best use of yourself. And of course I have many videos also to help you find how to be best in side lying, how to have a nice side bending, <laughs> like how to put together a posture like this where you can play with your ankles and your toes and see how that relates to your leg muscles, your hip joints, your lower back. And even you're working with your legs and core muscles, maybe your head can rest at ease, be able to move, maybe your jaws can rest, maybe you notice you have tension in your eyes, you can let go of. How does this affect your breathing?
or maybe you just want to take a rest a little bit on your side while everybody else <laughs> is doing the work. Then make sure you really go for a last rest in side lying on your right side. What's a good resting position on your right side? Then for a last time extend your left leg downwards. So your left leg is up in the air, your left ankle is bent and move your left leg forwards and backwards. <laughs> See how this has developed, how this has improved. Yes, <laughs> how fast can you go, how far can you go. Like, is this a new body, is this a different body you just downloaded? <laughs> What is happening? Why is this movement so much better now? And then prepare yourself for a last rest on your back. Please turn back onto your back. The same position as we had at the beginning of this video. Resting on your back, see how you feel now resting on your back. With your legs extended. What's the position of your legs? They chose for themselves how far apart, how much is each leg turned. And that's important to observe how is it rather than how should it be. So we have all these movements and the combinations to provide ourselves with the best possible learning and improvement uh, patterns. And then let's see what the nervous system took. How, how, how do we look? Is it a duck? <laughs> is it asymmetric? Is it symmetric? What is it? Then for a last time, place your hands on your lower belly, abdomen, below your navel. And slowly, there's no rush, nowhere to be for the next three minutes. Just slowly start engage in the idea to bring your legs together. Observe how tension starts to build how this starts to move your legs. Your intention is to bring your legs together. See how your legs move. How this changed, how your perception changed, how you, the strength changed, the, how the pattern changed to bring your heels or ankles and the base joints of your big toes and your knees. Can your knees turn inwards? <laughs> Can you bring your legs together, hold your legs together, press them together in an isometric contraction? How much does this engage your core, your glutes, your hamstrings? Can your neck still be somewhat free? <laughs> What is your awareness for your feet, for the soles of your feet? How do you feel yourself now? How present are you in your body now? So, and like every 
lesson, every video, or most of them, we end in standing. So the swinging of the legs got a lot better in side lying. Maybe the walking and the standing has gotten better as well. So have a look. Let's see. We need to get up. So let's go. Let's come up. How is it to be upright? How easy it is? Oh, I'm in drive mode. I need to hold myself back <coughs> to slow down. <laughs> How is it for you? I hope I was able to give you many new ideas and insights. See how this lesson develops further on its own during the day, during the next few days. Hope to see you again. Thank you so much for your support, for making these videos possible and see you in the next video.